These are the real signs of a dedicated artist. My hands and my makeup are always dirty. Gonna stop you right there real quick. I got a fun drinking game for you guys. The amount of times I say butterfly in this tutorial, oh my Jesus, Mary and Joseph, be with me. Take a drink every time I say it. But a spoiler alert, no one's gonna win that game. Back from the dead. What's up, Hans family? Today's tutorial is going to be an inspired tutorial by my best friend, Des. You guys know her as Desine. Whenever I have a little bit of a creative block when I haven't body painted in a minute, I like to look at an artist that inspires me to rekindle my love of makeup and shit. It's always a great way to get over that creative block. This will be kind of an infected butterfly type dealio. And make sure to check Des out. I'll have all her social links down below and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Let's get started. Our skin shows through a little bit, so I'm just going to have a base on my face of foundation, which right now is just the Makeup Forever HD stick and a little bit of my fancy NARS concealer. Buff that all over. Now to painting. I'm trying out these new paints. They're actually fab paints, face and body paints, and they're pretty sweet. I've got to say, you guys, I'm pretty obsessed with them. This is actually the first time of me using them, and uh, they're extremely pigmented. The color payoff is pretty badass. So I'm putting this all over my neck and kind of creating a collar where the idea behind it is I want to make it look like this butterfly is infecting up to my face. I started to add a little bit of pink on top of the paint as well just to give it a little more dimension and these paints blend really nicely on top of each other. They don't seem to get too patchy. Outline all of the butterfly wings in black paint and I kind of did it where I had some larger butterfly wings towards the bottom of the collar and smaller ones coming out right by my jawline. Kind of tried to think of it as like a flower, how flowers, the petals are usually a little smaller by the center of the flower and then as they cascade out they get a little bigger, but I like the layered look, you do whatever you please. May also be helpful just to look at a reference picture of the shape of butterfly wings just so that they more so look like butterfly wings instead of circular petals to a flower or something. And the butterfly wings I was looking at that I know Des pretty much used on her picture too were the ones that have the thicker black outline towards the bottom. So I created that and then went in with a little bit of a smaller brush to start creating all of the little lines and kind of almost stained glass look that they have on their wings. I did them pretty large on the larger wings and I tried to do smaller lines on the smaller wings just to get it nice and cohesive, know what I mean? Since this is kind of infecting into our skin, our skin is overlapping on top, I'm taking Taboo from Makeup Geek, this really cool matte dark brown shadow. Mattes are the best for this. You don't really want to use shimmers because the shadow would naturally be matte. And we want to take that right up to the top of the line of our skin so it looks like our skin is creating a shadow down onto these butterfly wings. You can already see it makes it look like my skin is popping forward. I even wanted it to look more jagged, so I went in and really added more of these little lines, more little spots missing with just the eyeshadow by really pressing it in and dabbing it on. The bottom of the butterfly collar is where it meets with our skin, and I want that to be really messy and kind of the start of the entire look. So I want to add a little bit of pink shadow all over my shoulders and around the bottoms of these little butterfly wings. I almost called them butterfly flaps, but that's, I don't, hey, maybe you can call them butterfly flaps. Add a little bit of pink shadow to the apples of your cheeks, and I'm bringing some of that into the face itself to look like the skin is tearing a little bit with the shadow. As I was doing this, I realized that it didn't really look infected enough to me. This has taken over my skin, so I want to bring in my eye into the butterfly. I love asymmetrical looks, you guys know this, so I just did one eye and I wanted to bring some of the lines downwards to look like my skin was breaking apart. Now I'm just darkening the exact same way that I did earlier right around the perimeter of my face, but I'm doing this now around the perimeter of the purple around my eye. Okay, can someone get like a counter of how many times I've said butterfly? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Taking Bulletproof Eyeshadow, which is from Sugar Pill. It's a very, very dark matte black. I'm going to really intensify right underneath the skin because right underneath the skin, that black shadow would be there blending into the dark purple. It's an infection, so add some more black paint to make it look like the skin is tearing in as many spots as possible. 
The black paint is also a really good way to outline some of the skin as well if the black eyeshadow just isn't doing justice to what you want. And I brought in a little bit more of that butterfly wing detail right around the eye. Like I said earlier, the bottom of the piece is where it really gets started and I love the look of Dez's drips on hers. So to create drips, you just wanna put a lot of water on your paint, put it onto your skin, and add little by little more water just to, until it starts dripping to the effect that you want. As I'm looking at this, it reminds me more of a corruption instead of an infection. To continue on that theme, I took a little bit of yellow paint, which is as well from Fab, very, very bright yellow, and did some dots. I was just originally gonna do these around the jawline, but I decided that they look pretty cool and I wanted it all around since kind of some bubbles of plague, I guess to say, that are all around. And I kept that just in the purple side, did some larger dots, did some smaller ones. You want a variation of the sizes. Kind of cluster some together, do some farther apart, put them anywhere where you think it looks pretty cool, just have a little bit of that uh, complementary color next to it. Purple and yellow are complementary colors, so they look great next to each other. Just so that the purple wasn't so flat, I did want to take a little bit of that pink paint we used earlier and add just the tiniest bit towards the top of some of these shapes that we created in the wings. It's really easy to layer paints on top of each other when you don't add a lot of water to the second paint and you use a dry brush when blending it in on top. Sometimes when you add too much water, it can turn into a muddled mess when you're adding paint on top of paint. Jeffree Star recently came out with this highlighter called Lavender Snow that's pretty fucking awesome. So I want to take that and put that all over my cheekbones and pretty much drench my face in it. It is kind of a silvery purple, so I thought it would go perfect with this look to give me that glow and also on top of my collarbones too, just so those pop out a little bit more. I wanted to keep with that ethereal feel, so I took this lip tar from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and put that on my lips because I didn't really want a matte lip. I wanted to look glossy and added a little bit of purple eyeshadow in my eyebrow just so that it was cohesive with the look. Don't want it just completely bare. Same with the eyelids, a little bit of lavender snow went on both of those. Makeup Geek's purple royal liner is gonna go on my top lid. I'm not gonna wing it out for once in my life. I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit so the lashes have something to blend into. And these are Sugar Pills purple lashes. I'll have the name on the screen. And to finish the look, bringing a little bit more of that lavender snow on to the inner corner. This, you guys, is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's super easy and fun to recreate, I'm sure. I mean, I'm talking like I've recreated it, even though I kind of did, because it is Dez's look, somewhat, you know what I mean? So I did kind of take off of her look, and anyways, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you recreate it, and thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. I want to sit like this. Yes. 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 Sometimes the thing that the things that I come out of my mouth are so stupid. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about, Jordan? I don't even know.